Welcome to Intaver Institute's video, Agile Project Management and Quantitative Risk Analysis. Agile has become the most popular project management process in the development and delivery of software systems. However, Agile teams must provide estimates to complete the, that account for risks and uncertainties that occur during project execution. In this video, we will look at how a standard schedule risk analysis can be adapted for the Agile process. Conventional and Agile project management have different conceptions of scheduling. Conventional schedules are composed of tasks with durations that are linked in a precedent network. Importantly, task durations are considered variable and can change during project execution. Schedule risk analysis measures the impact of this variance on project plans. To start the analysis, risks and uncertainties are assigned to the project plan. Uncertainties are assigned as three-point estimates, low, base, and high, with statistical distributions. Risks are events that can be assigned to activities with the probability of occurring and impacts to cost, schedule, and performance. Simulations generate probabilistic forecasts for schedule and cost. Here we are looking at a Gantt view that presents the results of a schedule risk analysis for each task in the schedule. Using this analysis, project planners can create risk-adjusted plans that account for the level of project risk. In comparison, though Agile projects are subject to similar risks and uncertainties, they use sprints which have a set duration that never varies. Each sprint contains multiple activities. At the end of each sprint, a working product is produced. If the planned work is not completed in a sprint due to underlying risks or uncertainties, it is moved to the next sprint. This process continues until the finished solution is delivered. The Agile teams must estimate how many sprints will be required to deliver the final product while accounting for risk events and uncertainties. Here we see a sample of an Agile plan that will use four sprints to deliver a completed storyboard of capabilities. Each sprint lasts two weeks for a total of eight weeks. Each sprint is assigned resources, developers, QA, and documentation. Resources are useful for this analysis as some issues only impact specific resources. Adding deadlines can be useful visual marker. Issues are perfect for incorporating both risk events and uncertainties into an Agile model. Like risk events, they have an impact on schedule, cost, and technical performance. And like uncertainties, they have a 100% probability and can be modeled using three-point estimates with statistical distributions. The team identifies known issues they believe will have a significant impact on the successful delivery of the sprints. Issues can then be assigned to either specific resources or to the sprints. In the first example, both the QA and documentation resources are shared with other projects, and availability to the project is an issue. In the second example, the team anticipates there will be significant technical issues to resolve that may delay the delivery of specific requirements. During project execution, Issues can be added or closed as each sprint progresses. Once issues have been assigned, a quick calculation is run to show how the issues might affect the planned work in each sprint. The results can be used to modify the development plan. In this case, we can see the probability that the planned development can be completed in four sprints is extremely low, as shown in the red shaded area. As the current plan is not realistic, the team must make some adjustments which will impact the estimate to complete. The team could consider two options to increase the chance that capabilities will be delivered on time and within budget. Option A is to add an additional sprint as the likelihood of delivering in four sprints is too low. This will increase the duration of the project estimate. 
Option B is to minimize the impacts of the issues. Examples might be to add additional resources or schedule additional time on a test server. Mitigating these issues will add additional cost to the project estimate. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, please visit our website at www.intaver.com or send us an email at info at